Hi everyone. Welcome back to Bible in a Year. My name is Natalie and we are going to start reading the Bible cover to cover beginning January 1st, 2023 and reading all the way through to December 31st, 2023. We are st starting this channel a little bit early so that people have a chance to find us. So I was going back um, through the videos on this channel and I just wanted to see um, you know, what the volume was like and the video angles or the camera angles and uh, just trying to see what I could learn off of the past videos. And it came apparent that I have mentioned um, relationship with God and talking with God and I thought, you know, maybe people that are coming to this channel, maybe they just don't know how to pray. I have been in those situations before where life has been exasperating, where, you know, I have repeated the same prayer over and over again for months, and I feel like I'm just praying to air. You know... I feel that sometimes when I feel like that, the only way I can relate it to is when my children were young, they might be in their rooms playing and, you know, playing with their Hot Wheels or something and vroom, vroom, vroom. And meanwhile, they're talking to me, not really looking at me, but I am listening. And I think that's how it is with the Lord when we are just covered with um, the stress of life, um, I think it is hard for us to get our focus to Him. And our prayers feel empty. They feel like we're just praying into air. But as our Father, He is listening to us. And so there's been um, many times where I just can't pray the same prayer over again. <clears throat> but I want to check in. And Jesus tells us how to pray. He is talking with his disciples. And <clears throat> I lost my bookmark again. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is talking to his disciples. And they're asking him, you know, how, how do we pray? And this comes from Matthew 6, 5 through 15. And I have fallen on this many times. It's called the Lord's Prayer. And when I have no words left in my heart, when I have no requests, when I have no praise to offer, this is what I fall back on. And maybe it's something that you can start your prayer life with so that you can just at least attempt to make that connection. So this comes from Matthew 6, 5 through 15. But you, when you pray, enter into your inner room, and having shut your door, pray to your Father who is in secret. Your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. In praying, don't use vain repetitions as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Therefore, don't be like them, for your Father knows what things you need before you ask Him. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. Bring us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I'm actually going to start it there. I've decided I'm going to do a part two on this prayer. Um... We'll talk, it about, talk about it again tomorrow. So if you're just beginning your relationship with the Lord, 
and you don't know what to say and you don't have, you don't have the words, uh, you can memorize this prayer. And even if you feel like you're just talking to the air, I promise you he's listening. He is listening to you. So I hope you all have a wonderful day today and we are going to see you tomorrow.